My camera's shaking and it looks like another earthquake is happening. Not an earthquake, it's a surf quake. I look so silly right now, but today I'm going to the Shop Berries one year anniversary event. So they're having like a vintage sale and they're going to have like different cool things there. So I'm going to Brooklyn with my two friends, Kat and Diane. I know very similar to the song Jack and Diane. Every time I say their names together, I want to start singing. Here's a little ditty. Bell cat Nyan. Let's not talk about my singing skills, okay? I do not know what to wear. I do really like this top, so I think I'm gonna wear it. For the bottoms, I'm sorry, you can't even see it that well. I don't like this skirt, but that's what we are gonna figure out and quickly because they're both gonna meet me at my place pretty soon. Look at my boy, he's so big. Look at him. Yeah, you can tell he's mischievous. Oh, he's a little devil. But unfortunately, I do love him. And by unfortunately, I mean unfortunately for my limbs because they are covered in bite marks and scratch marks. But it's okay because he went to the vet today and they did trim his claws, which I am very appreciative of. Okay, okay, enough of that. Let's focus on the outfit. The perspective of my giant monstera leaf is actually hilarious. So I'm leaving that there. I wanted a like asymmetrical kind of like grungy bohemian skirt to go with this top but I don't really like the skirt and I also like <sighs> a big pet peeve I have is the fact that being fat like you can't find cute skirts that like sit at your hips unless they're very stretchy because I just want this to sit at my hips but like I have a stomach it won't do that i'm considering a mini skirt with some boots but it is still kind of cold out even though it's spring it's still cold out and i'm worried about it being too short especially because i'm on my period right now but also i will be in a car driving there <sighs> i'm just i'm so indecisive right now i'm so sorry my setup is kind of comically bad but i think this is the outfit i'm going for I am wearing this little pendant necklace, the top, the belt, I made the skirt asymmetrical with the safety pin, and some black boots. On second thought, I think some brown boots would look really good with this because my brown boots do match my hair, so now I'm questioning things. Okay, I'm gonna try on the brown boots real quick. I feel like I should wear my brown boots that are a little taller, but they do have a higher heel, so I am worried about like being able to walk around in them for long periods of time. Unfortunately, I do think I just have to live with these boots because even though they're like shorter in length, they are just comfier to wear and I don't want to be wearing heels and walking around Brooklyn. I just can't do that. Sorry about the audio quality, okay? I know it just dropped a lot, but I did add a coat. So I think this is the final look. I did add this bag that my mom got me. It's got the cute little like dog and cat and the little buttons it's just really cute i have to transfer all my stuff from my normal purse to this bag but i think this is the final look i'm on my period too so this will be going with me oh i'm eating i'm doing good i'm doing good diane let the cinematographer work oh this is just do you see this do you see what i'm getting should we kiss for the camera Send it and say forty dollars. Question mark. Cat get question mark. <laughs> Will do. It's kind of cunty. Excuse me. Are you the principal?
trying to get this girl not to buy this top so I can buy the top. <laughs> she looks good in it, but I want it. And Jess got a skirt that would go perfect with it. <laughs> You're evil. Just show like, ass in my YouTube video. <laughs> like, you would honestly start OnlyFans with only with your friends. It's just <laughs> under ass. <laughs> under it's ass just all shots. under ass shots. It's only under ass shots. Holding the ground. The sun is going to be. General Sal's tofu. Let's taste this. It looks weird. With the Leonard Cohen in the back, your followers are going to love. Mention just dropped at Carvel. It's a cone holder <laughs> to catch your, <laughs> to catch your dripping ice cream. Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> so interesting. I have to pee more than anticipated. Oh, there's the statue of Pippa Reed. I am so sorry for the janky camera angles in this video. It just feels really hard to get a good outfit like video set up in this room. But nevertheless, she persisted. I think I just said nevertheless. Today is the day of the solar eclipse and originally I was not going to do anything. I was going to stay at home. I thought to myself, maybe I'll walk to the park. I don't have eclipse glasses, but I was just going to hope for the best. But then I realized that the local science center is actually throwing a eclipse celebration and they're going to have glasses. I also added a planetarium movie about the eclipse to my ticket. So today is an eclipse day. We're being sun babies and we're just enjoying life and planets. As you can probably already tell, I did already get dressed because I filmed a TikTok of getting ready to take myself on a solo date to the Science Center for the eclipse, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the same pendant necklace I wore in my last outfit with a short sleeve black button up that I thrifted. I just got this skirt from Shop Berries and it's really cute. I love that the waistband is like super stretchy so I can wear it on my hips if I want to because that's what like I really want in life is just to be able to wear cute skirts around my hips. I'm just gonna take my shoe off so you can see it better but I'm wearing these cute little ballet flats because they match my outfit and I think they're cute. Oh yeah, I also have some rings on my hand and these hoop earrings and I'm wearing this blue suede blazer jacket because this outfit just needed a pop of color and the same cute little crossbody bag I was also wearing in my last outfit because this is my new everyday bag. This is my Eclipse solo day outfit. I just realized I do in fact have a full length mirror that I can show you my outfit better in. So here's the outfit without the jacket. Sorry if you hear that helicopter outside. Um. Anyway, here's the jacket, I mean the outfit with the jacket so as you can see it just needed like a little pop of color i think and i like how this jacket is more structured because i did try on another one that was more looser fitting and i don't think it looked that good so yeah here is my outfit i just got to the science center and i'm usually a pretty cynical person but something that i love about astronomy events like this is how it brings people together because i saw people in the street just like handing their solar eclipse glasses to strangers so they could look at the sun too and i just think that's really nice and yeah so i'm gonna go inside now
I know I'm on my period because during the planetarium show when they were talking about how beautiful and important and lucky we are to have the moon I started crying because I was like you're so right like she's so beautiful and we are so lucky I did get the goods I did get some eclipse glasses there were just a lot of kids in there and that makes sense I should have thought about that but for some reason I was like it's a Monday like kids will be in school but they were on field trips and a lot of people were just there with their kids which is fine but just like for me personally it was a lot so I was just like I'm going to leave and just go to the park or something and look at the eclipse from there. The eclipse is starting and I'm walking to the park now. to go on a walk today okay i need to go on a walk i have been working all day i've been dealing with my little baby cats all day i think i just need a nice lovely hot girl spring walk i adjusted my camera a little bit so hopefully you could see me a little better sorry i'm very far away um don't know what i'm doing right now i'm just i'm doing it can you tell i usually spend all day alone with my two cats while my boyfriend is at school or work because i feel like i'm acting i think i'm i'm acting a little bit like it right now i want to keep it casual for the walk okay i'm not gonna go wild so i think i'm gonna keep this top and switch into a pair of jeans okay here's the jeans and i think i'm also gonna add a jacket just because it's probably like a little chilly outside i know it's a pretty nice spring day but also, men can be scary, so I want to cover up. I like how I just said I didn't want to draw attention to myself, and so I'm just wearing a full-on Canadian tuxedo. These don't entirely match, but I think I'm just going to go for the full denim look and wear these new flats I got from Circus New York. Canadian tuxedo? More like Canadian spacesuit. I guess I'd need a denim hat for that to work. Um... We're just gonna go all in on the denim today. Oh yeah, I also think I'm going to Trader Joe's with Kat later because they finally got their car to Jersey all the way from LA. So I don't have to drive everybody around anymore. I'm in my passenger princess era. I'm not gonna bring my bag on the walk. I think I'm just gonna bring my water bottle. So this is the finished look. Once again, forgot I have this thing over here. Canadian spacesuit. Just wait, just wait until I get my denim hood and then you will all see. Okay, my allergies are starting to flare up now. It's Thursday and I clearly have not gotten dressed yet. I literally do not have any plans today. The only plan I have is therapy at noon, but it's virtual. I don't even have to go anywhere for it, but I still wanna feel cute and comfortable. Why does it feel like I'm saying comfortable wrong now? You know those moments where you say a word and you know the words right and you're like spelling it right and saying it right but it just doesn't feel like a real word anymore? Yeah. I'm fighting the urge to just wear jeans. I really am. Um, jeans are comfortable and easy but I'm trying to challenge my brain this fine rainy Thursday morning. I wanted to do that cute thing people do where they wear a midi skirt and a sweatshirt on top but every time I wear the sweatshirt I feel like I've reverted back to 2018 me so I won't be doing that today. Does anyone else have issues wearing certain styles because of that? Like I still cannot wear skinny jeans, cardigans, um, just anything I wore as a kid um, when I was like insecure that... I just, I, it's just like, it's just like this connection in my brain. I'm like, if I wear this, I feel like I did at this time when I wore this style a lot. And then my brain just gets the ick and I, I just can't do it. Okay, here's the look so far. I 
don't know how I'm feeling about this skirt. I do like the top, but I think I'm actually going to switch this skirt for this skirt from Barry's just because it's very comfortable. Like it is so stretchy. It feels like I'm not even wearing pants. And yes, I'm wearing it again. Okay. Don't be afraid to re-wear your clothes. That is quite literally what they are there for. Let me fix this camera angle so you can see this outfit better. Here's the sweater and the skirt, and this is so predictable of me, but I think I need some knee-high boots with this look. If anybody from a shoe brand that happens to sell wide calf boots would like to send me some nice wide calf boots, I would not refuse because these boots, I, I'm just... I'm using them so much, I feel like they need a break. I could add some rings, but honestly, I'm an obsessive hand washer and then rings get really annoying once they're all wet and like sliding around your fingers. So I think this is my casual look for the day. I can't even really see myself, but I think it's cute. Honestly, this outfit is pretty cute. I'm kind of hoping one of my friends texts me for spontaneous plans because this look cannot be wasted on just therapy. I'm sorry to my therapist. Also, yes, I'm keeping my mic this time because there's a lot of construction going on and I do not want to subject you all to it. That's how kind and thoughtful I am. <laughs> okay, here's the finished look. This morning I went to the gym with Diane and then I came home, washed my hair. So my hair is nice and fresh. And then in a little bit, I'm going to hang out with Kat. Surprise, surprise. And then after we're done doing errands and possibly thrifting, I don't know, we're going to get dinner with my boyfriend. So that's what we're getting dressed for. I kind of have an idea of what I want to wear. So I'm thinking of a skirt over jeans because that's just the vibe I'm into today. So let's see how that looks. Okay, I think this might be today's look. Part of me feels like there should be a belt here, but there's no belt loops on this skirt. So I know if I wear one, it's just going to go sliding around everywhere and piss me off. So what's the point? This sweater is thrifted. I did add some ribbon when I was trying on this top with a little bow to see if it would look cute. And it looked fine, but I do think it looks better without the ribbon. Skirt is thrifted. Jeans are from St. John's Bay. And my shoes are from Sam Edelman. And my bag is also thrifted. I don't know why, but today I'm in such a skirt over jeans kind of mood. So here is the final look. I cannot believe I almost forgot to show my co-host. It would be nothing without my co-host. And by it, I mean this channel. Hello, baby girl. <laughs> Sorry if you hear the lawnmower outside. I know my co-host has been a little absent from my videos, but honestly, I think she deserves the vacation time. Okay, wait, I put my hair up and I added this little heart pendant necklace and I think this is actually the final look. I'm not wearing my shoes right now because I'm just walking around my apartment, but I do think this is a little cuter. We walked here from Jess's apartment. I'm gonna be muting that and also censor in your mouth. <laughs> People can't lip read. Does the social security number is